caution. Ginny May is up 5% in the last six weeks. How could that be? How could that be, Josh? The feds were raising rates not by 75 basis points, but 150 basis points. And yet the Ginny May fund is up 5%. That's impossible. I've had so many people, my friends, email me still. Just had a nice lady yesterday. I said, I told her, I said, you got to, we'll call her, uh, we'll call her Deb. Uh, Brenda, I used Brenda last time. Call her Jean, I'll just say Deb, stick with Deb. I said, Deb, perspective, perspective, perspective. Come on. Anyway, the point being was, remember when Ginny May was down, I think it was almost like 11% or something like that, you know, about two months ago. And people were like, yeah. I remember I had one clown on here. I was like, dude, all right, get out. I don't care. But I never told you to get in. I'm never telling you to get out. But just I, I, for the love of me, just look back at time and see what bonds have done the following years after they lost money. I just, it's insane. And I can't guarantee that's going to happen again. But when things get dicey in the world, what stands above all? America. I'm proud to be an American. At least I know I'm not free. Because Biden is office, and he had to go pee in his pants. No, in his pants he did go pee. Oh, there you go. In his pants he did go pee. And oh, yeah, my shirt is on inside out. I haven't shaved. Oh my goodness, so unprofessional wearing necktie. Some clown says. Anyway, dude. So Jimmy May is down six percent year to date. All right, all right, six percent year to date. It was down. That's that's up from being down eleven percent or something like that just six weeks ago. Uh, you just you can't panic, my friends. You can't just remember your portfolio you are on is a rear view. The portfolio your portfolio as it is today is rear view, is a rear view mirror. Has nothing to eh, kind of in some way it kind of is for stocks because there is some couple momentum, but by and large has nothing to do with the future. What you have today, you got one hundred fifty thousand. You got one point five million. You're freaking Warren Buffett and all these rich guys with one hundred fifty billion, which we should tax a little bit on. Just FYI. Man, we, your portfolio from the past, you're sitting there looking at my portfolio. I got my Schwab statements, $150 million. And Matt, it, who cares what the past is? What is the future? But I'm down. I can't believe how many people leave me, but I'm down. And I know why they do, because they're worried they're going to continue to go down. I get that. What I'm saying, I get it. You're like, man, I'm down. I, I'm worried I'm going to continue to go down. <sighs> what is the likelihood of that happening once you're already down? The time to get worried is when the markets go up, up, up. Because especially something like a government bond, there's no evidence at all that the government bonds are going to continue to go down year after year after year. There is none, my friends. There just isn't any, which is why I love Ginny Mae. It's a government bond. So anyway, ah, it frustrates me so much. And look, I get it. You know, people don't, people don't do this for a living. I do. And I'm the guy who has a time and energy and interest to do the research. So here we go, year to date. Again, Ginny May is down 6% year to date. I'm just looking right there. June 14, uh, 2022, the price per share is uh, 936. Now it's at 981, which is a 4.8% uh, gain improvement over what it was in six weeks ago. I'm also factoring another. Um, so Ginny May is yielding about 3% or so. So we divide that by 12, and I'm not sure what that is, but about 50 basis points. So I factor in another 50 basis points. No, that's not 50 basis points. 12 divided by 40 basis points, something like that. I'm just basically saying it's roughly 5%. All right. So if you sold here, and you know, don't, you're, uh, you miss out a 5% gain. And if you sold there, you, what, what did you do with your money? And, and you can't, you just, you can't do this. You just why I have to have a diversified portfolio. Diversified portfolio. So the lady I was, uh, a lot of people I talked to, it was Cash at Ginny May at Wellington. Cash, Ginny May, Wellesley. You know what I'm saying? Cash, Ginny May, Toll Stock Index. Um, you know, it really depends on your debt and all that, but your spending. But Cash, Ginny May, XYZ. Yeah, just, there's, what else? You can't, look. Is there a better mousetrap? No. You're down. Everybody is down the same thing. No one is down, like, you can't sit there and say, this portfolio sucks, that portfolio is better. It's just not, man. Cash, Ginny May, XYZ. I don't even care what it is. You can't sit there and say, oh, my goodness, this portfolio is bad. That portfolio is good because they're all we all took on. Every single portfolio took on the chin at the first six months of this year. There's no running from that. So you're already down. What, you're going to move now? Now, I get it. The fixed annuities do look more traffic, tra attractive. I get that 100%. But I just, I mean, people got to do what they got to do. But I'm sitting there thinking, 
All right, so you're down 6%. You're back up 5%. Historically, bonds kick-ass take names the following year when they go down. I, I just don't think a 4% fixed annuity looks good to replace my Ginny May. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Hang tight, man. When all is said and done, we're still the only game in town in this country here. Even with our clown in chief, we're still the only game in town. I will right, we'll see you.